time I see da, 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 blue sky red roses to 7.36 the bakery is closed for Pesach I guess that's it no more happy holidays no bread for Passover no laden bread so we're one less thing I see birds beautiful flowers do you see them so we're making another walk down the street and wishing you all happy holiday season I was listening to my videos and I do rant a lot and you know what they say the more you complain the more you get a reason to you bring in this energy that you have more to complain about and the more you're grateful for oops right Shoshana and Shelby the more you have to be grateful for it you say wow look at the flowers then you think oh but the sky is also blue and the, the dogs are pretty cute too and then you have more reasons to be grateful for so I'm going to try to have a grateful attitude attitude is a small thing that makes a big difference I'm really full of quotes today because I was really kind of shocked at how you know it's really important to record yourself or to have some sort of um, feedback on how you are I know I have a loud voice and I think I should use it more in singing. Just one of the more poignant, one of the more beautiful songs I've heard performed was imagined by this um, singer who sings in the London Underground. I just heard it on YouTube and it was just like, wow, that was so powerful. So it's not just the song, it's how people perform it. It's, um, there was an attempt to do Imagine uh, by different people in Hollywood. It didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, it's a song that's very deep and it's very true to our time. It's very, very true. He changed the words, but immediately when this thing started and they started to shut down things um, like mosques and synagogues in this part of the world, I guess churches and other places I started to think of wow how John Lennon's world words were just prophecy imagine no religion wow I mean like wow because unfortunately religion is used as an excuse I never ever thought it was a cause it's not a cause of war but it's used as an excuse for you know for all these disputes around the world it's really sad oh look at these beautiful flowers yeah look for the flowers flowers are wonderful um yeah so what really for me hit me really hard yesterday i went to this kiosk right because i don't like to stand in line and i wanted to something to buy something to eat and it was really weird she was the girl at the kiosk was so uh impatient with me because i like to talk and then i decided no i'm going to look for good energy never settle never never ever accept bad energy ever i mean if somebody's unkind you don't have to say that to them you're not going to teach them to be kind but you can take yourself away from it. I don't think you can fix people. If people choose to be unkind, especially in this time, uh, and I really had, I was just had a wonderful experience. I went to a kiosk not far from me where there's a very, very nice young man. He's young and he's already a father and he's working all the hours 
a man can work, how do you say, all the hours of the day, and he has small children. I wish I could give him something. I don't know what you can give these days. Um, but he's such a, an amazing person. He's the kind of person that he just, his presence makes you feel better. His presence makes you feel better. He's just so nice. And I just wanted to say that thank you to all those people who are kind and patient and say that, you know, let's be grateful for what we, all the nice people in our lives. Now let's not look at the rude people. Put that on the way back, I have no bats. Let's be thankful for all the good people in our lives. Tonight, uh, Shoshana, all the good dogs and cats and people in our lives that are uplifting. And those that are not quite there yet, you know, there's a quote from um, The Great Gatsby by uh, Scott Fitzgerald, who says, don't forget that not everybody had the same, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of the words. Not everybody had the same privileges, the opportunities or privileges as you. So not everybody has the insights. Not everybody has the ability or the insight. Maybe they're having a bad moment. Maybe they're having a bad life. Maybe they're having a bad year. Maybe they're having bad years. So let's not judge people, but let's definitely, if you're sensitive to energies, the way I am very sensitive to energies, please take yourself away from that kind of energy and don't get into it, you know? I was so proud of myself just walking away, you know. I just thought, I said, I don't need this. I just, like, I was standing there thinking what I'm going to buy. And then I thought, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need her to tell me, like, nasty things, like, you know. Um, when you meet the ego, it's not a pleasant experience. And when you meet the ego standing in front of your face saying, me, 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 and you want to share something, and you're trying to have a human contact in this difficult time and you're going to a kiosk and you just want to you just want to feel good you know um i guess most of the time you have to bring it within yourself the, to feel good so it's really interesting you know here's the egyptian egyptian embassy and now we're celebrating the story of um coming out of egypt and then we have right here the Egyptian embassy and we're officially at peace Boker tov Chag Sameach Chag Sameach Zev Chag Sameach Kol Tuv Kol Tuv Zev this is a, a great man because he you know he he hasn't had he chooses to be a good person he's always saying hello to me always good morning he's a kind person and Certainly, it's not easy to live on the street. And I'm surprised he's still on the street. But I, I can understand that. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy inside. And I wonder what it's like in the U.S. when there's so many homeless people, what they've done with all the homeless people. You know, I'm just thinking of the U.S. because I don't know another area in the world that has so many homeless people, like California, I've heard. And I know I've seen in New York a lot of them. So I wonder... In Israel, we don't have a lot of homeless people. For my, I always talk to them, the ones who are here, and, and there, there are two that I talk to. And uh, one of them is no longer on, he's no longer homeless, or I don't know where he is. Um, and he, I think he told me he has a fear, he can't stay indoors. I don't know what it, you know, claustrophobia. So he can't stay indoors. He has to stay outdoors. And I think it must be difficult this time to stay indoors, you know, for people like that. So I wonder what happened to all these people. I, I tell you myself, I can really relate to that. I have a hard time staying indoors. So today there's going to be a total closure, which means that you cannot go to another city. It's no problem for me. I don't have a car, but you can't drive to your relatives. Uh... Chag Sameach, Chag Sameach. Kol Tu. Ma? Adain b'talich, b'talich. Efo itach shab, efo, efo chanu? 
אה, אין שם שור? איפה אתה ממליץ? ארלוזרוב? מה זה פה? איפה? אה, שם אין תור. אה, בסדר. אני לא רוצה לעמוד בתור, אני פשוט צריכה... אני הולכת להביא...